Uh, looking forward to this one. My album of the year um, by some considerable distance. A special album to me already. Little Yachty's Let's Start Here. It really is a work that has everything and I cannot get enough of it. Starting with the best song from the best album. Oh, it's got everything, this song, and it has given me so many good moments this year. And bad moments as well. It's just a song that has everything you could possibly need ever. Track two, The Ride. How do you follow Black Seminole? It's going to be difficult. And this is obviously a slower groove and not as mad or well, but it's such a good introduction to the album and what could be and what will be. Track three, Running Out of Time. Um, I play this a lot down the pub and it's very often that people fall in love with this album at this stage, especially the intro, um, which is so funky and nice and Thundercat-ish. I don't think he's involved, but brilliant. Track four, Pretty. Probably my least favourite track. Uh, where it is, I think it was later on, I'd probably enjoy it more, but I want to get straight into what goes next after the ride. Um, but still wonderful. But it does lose me a little bit. Track five, Failure. One of my favourite tracks, strangely. It really is a bridge towards the second half of the album. Um, even though we're early days, it's just a beautiful piece of think music. Uh, track six, The Zone. Uh, again, just rocking, hip hopping, everything that's right. The first half of the song's a little bit slower, but when the female vocals kick in and the crescendo at the end that's just about to end is beautiful. Uh, track seven, We Saw the Sun. I think my second favourite track on the album, but I'll probably say that again. It's just got everything. It just, it's such a happy moment. It's let it be in a way. It's wonderful. Uh, track eight, Drive Me Crazy. This album drives me crazy. Um, just so different again. Still hip hop, but different. And it's every track is what made me fall in love with this album in the first place. Is how eclectic it is in a good way. Uh, Cats join me for track seven. I have officially lost vision. A really a second favorite track or third. So I've already said second, but what an important song. What a great record, especially the latter part. Just is. Uh, track 10, Say Something, Say Something Mixy. No, I won't say anything. Um, again, what can I say? Everything's brilliant on this album. Uh, sort of the single, which was a surprise, because it's not really a standout for me, but, you know, it is. Track 11, Paint the Sky. Again, just blending in perfectly with what's come before. You know, you're not on the dance floor, but you're having such a good time. Everything just feels right in the world. How can it not? Uh, track 12, Should I Be, sort of building to the end of what has been an amazing journey, but there's still some to come. What can you say? All over the place in all the best possible way. Such beautiful, beautiful music. Uh, track 13, The Alchemist. He is an alchemist, actually. Um, musical alchemist, I and mean, then Alex G, I guess. I think he has something to do with this. I did read it somewhere. Just the build up to the last track, but what a build up with beauty everywhere, like this. 14th and final track, Reach the Sunshine. How do you end the perfect album? You end it perfectly like this. It's got everything. It's a summary of what came before. It's ups and downs. It's beauty, it's cruelty, it's loveliness, it's great music. Uh, so my overall review of Lil Yachty, Let's Start Here, is, as I've said, it's the album 2023. It's got everything. Whether you think you like hip-hop, rock, just listen to it with open ears. It's made with love, and I have received it with a lot of love this year.